Hey guys! So the most frequent asked question that I get nowadays is how much of your results did you get from the bull worker? And that's a very good question. But let's answer a more broader question before we're gonna answer that question. So how much muscle can you build up with a bull worker? Because some people tend to think that the bull worker is not really a device for building muscle. It's more a supplement to weightlifting so you can maintain muscle. So to those people I would like to ask, do you know how muscle building works? Because all that is really required for building up muscle is for you to challenge your muscles, let them do something that they're not used to doing, and they get confused, they break down, and they will realize, hey, we have to get bigger. That's all there is to muscle, build, muscle growth in the really rawest explanation that I can give, right? So, you can challenge your muscles for a very, very long time with the bull worker, and you can pretty much challenge every muscle in your body with the bull worker. So in that sense, the results from training with the bull worker versus training with free weights would give you about the same results. In some cases, you would get better results with the bull worker. And I'll get to that uh, later. But that's basically all there is to it. So this is an excellent tool to build muscle and it's far more than a supplement. I mean, Think about this, if you really think that holding a static hold for 7 seconds is enough to maintain muscle mass, then why wouldn't 3 sets of that help you to grow? Plain and simple, right? But the question is about me, right? How much mass, how much results did I get by working with the bull worker? So throughout the years I think that the bull worker has made up about 20-30% to 30 of my workouts. That's not that much, maybe, but actually that is a significant deal to me. Now, if I had this one from the very start, where you can change the springs, where um, you have these nice handles, that would probably be around, then, it would, then the number would probably be around 40, 50%. Okay? And you have to realize that next to weightlifting, I do other things as well. So. Um, at that point, I would probably, I, I probably, I'm at the moment, I'm using this thing way more than free weights, but just because it's really fun to work with it. Again, like changing the springs is a really big deal for me. So, but before, I had this one, and it made up about 20 to 30 percent of all my workouts. And I didn't even train all muscle groups with this thing. No, not at all. So my abs, my chest. Um, my legs, a big part of my legs, most of, and my biceps, triceps, no wait, yeah, yeah, no, no, my biceps, most of that, I did not train with the bull worker, not at all, I trained that with free weights, not because I can, couldn't train it with the bull worker, just because I really like to deadlift, I really like to bench press, I really like to squat, I just do whatever I feel like doing, and I just have a lot of fun doing those exercises. So again, I could do compressions, I could have done that for years, and I probably would have very similar results, but I just fe didn't feel like doing that. So most of those results I did thanks to free weights, okay? So then how am I, sh and then how am I sure that you can actually get results with the bull worker? Well, because some other muscle groups, some of my best trained muscle groups, in my entire body, I train those muscle groups almost solely and only with the bull worker. I haven't done a lot of pull-ups. I've done very little pull-ups for my lats. I've done, uh, I've never done dumbbell rows for the back of my shoulders. I've never followed a specific program for building up lower arms. And as you can see, all those muscle groups are really well developed. The outside of my tricep, this part of my tricep, I never did dumbbell exercise for that either. Never. My obliques, some of my best developed muscle groups. I did all that, yes, with the bull worker and pretty much the bull worker alone. I never did free weight exercise for those muscle groups. Why? Because I liked the exercise that you can do with the bull worker for those muscle groups and I find it way more effective actually. Let's take, for example, 
the exercise, you know, the dumbbell row, which is usually the prime exercise people do to target the back of the shoulders. I really hate to do that exercise. I hate it. And it doesn't feel comfortable either. It feels like it's a very unnatural movement. It feels like it puts a tension on your joint that just isn't normal. I mean, I don't have joint problems, but it just feels like, yeah, if I'm gonna do this years upon years upon years, I'm gonna do some damage. While if you just do this, just spreading this, that gives way more tension on those muscle groups than you could get by doing a dumbbell row. And it's not as strenuous on your joints or your tendons. Well, I'm not 100% sure when we're talking about tendons, but it it's absolutely feels a lot more comfortable. Same goes for the, the pull-up and the lats. I mean, pull-ups can be fun and they usually are not bad for your shoulders. But when I do this, the tension that I feel, the tension that I feel on my lats and my serratus, it is so much more intense than I could ever get by doing pull-ups. So I would rather do this instead of doing pull-ups. And well, when we're talking about my lower arms, my lower arms are pretty darn big. You know, it's not the most obvious when you just see them, but I don't have small lower arms. Most people have a very hard time to build up the lower arms. For me, it was never a problem. And if you look at people that tend to only work with the bull worker, they usually have very big lower arms. It's usually one of the more well-developed muscle groups. I never really understood, like, how can I have such big lower arms? And now I realize it. Well, you know, I've realized it for a couple of years now, but it's thanks to the bull worker. If you do a spread, for example, as you can see, there's constant tension on my lower arm. If I do a compression, there's constant trash tension in the inside of my lower arm. All these muscle groups are very much, very effectively trained with the pool worker. And I'd even, I'm willing to say that it just, you know, you can't compare it with free weights. Like the pool worker is a clear winner for those muscle groups. The obliques as well. No bleaks. Well, I'm gonna demonstrate it with this. But I, uh, for a while, what I used to love doing is this. Right, tennis exercise puts a lot of tension on your obliques. Very effective. And that's what I've done. So, the bull worker is supplement. Absolutely not. It absolutely outdoes free weights in many uh, ways. Actually, not only when we're talking about mass, let's also talk about strength gains. Uh, training isometrically is very effective for strength. Um, now, you know, of course, realize that if you want to be a good bench presser, then the bull worker might help you, but it will not, um, you know, uh, you, you, if you want to be a good bench presser, then definitely train your bench press and don't focus on the bull worker. Anyway, I have very good strength. Uh, at one point in my life was training for uh, the bench press and I actually wanted to uh, put up a national record for my weight class. Now I was a junior at that time, I'm still a junior officially, and I probably could have placed a national record. I don't know. I, I, all I'm saying is that I've always been pretty darn strong. And I've been using the bull work pretty much from the start that I've been weightlifting. I don't know if that has played a significant role, but I do know that the bull worker uh, is a very good tool for strength. And there's another thing. There's another thing where it outdoes free weights, and that is it's not, not as bad for your joints as free weights. Uh, actually, it's significantly better for your joints. This is why so many older people like to use it. Now, why is that important for results? It is because it means that you can train more. I mean, there is going to be a certain point where you're going to train with free weights, where you're gonna be like, my elbow hurts, my shoulder hurts, I'm in a lot of pain. This happens to pretty much everyone that is going to lift weights upon uh, weeks upon weeks, right? At a certain point, they will have to do, um, do a deload week. They'll have to be a little bit uh, more calm. Well, this is great. This is great. You can probably still train a lot of muscle groups that you can train with free weights, but you can still train them with this. So, in that sense, you don't have to stop training a muscle group for weeks if you are injured. 
Yeah, so in that sense, it also outdoes free weights. Now, there are a few things where the Bulwarker, actually there's one thing, one thing where I think that the Bulwarker cannot outdo free weights. It's also a really good tool for martial arts, especially for things like wrestling, judo, MMA, because for those sports you require a lot of isometric strength and that's specifically what this thing builds up. The Bulwarker can train pretty much every muscle in your leg, however, it's by far not as effective as squats. If I were to say like, what's the most effective for training your legs? I would say the squat, by far. However, um, the steel bow is very effective for training the inside of your thighs. Very effective. And the bigger ball worker is very effective for training the outside of your legs. Well, you can't see it right now. But it's very effective for training the outside of your legs and the steel bow is very effective for training the inside of your legs. And um, I mean, it's also very effective for training your hamstrings. But in overall development for the legs, I mean, you can't compare it with the squat. That's just my honest opinion. Uh, but everything else, every everything else, like you can definitely get very, very far with the bulwark in the very least. And in some cases, it completely outdoes free weights. So those are the results that you can expect with the Bullworker. And now I've talked about my own results with the Bullworker. Well, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.